If you are testing corn for a variety of mycotoxins using a combination of our flex tests for Dawn, aflatoxin, and fumonisin, there is an option that allows you to run all three simultaneously with a water-based common extraction protocol. You must purchase the accessory set ACC105 along with the relevant flex mycotoxin test kits for testing with the common extraction. When unpacking your common extraction accessory kit for quick scan, please check to ensure that all the listed components are present. Your kit should include a product insert and a 173 milliliter bottle of DB5 buffer. The common extraction protocol is designed to run with any combination of the following flex mycotoxin testing kits, Dawn Flex, Aflatoxin Flex, and or Fumonisin Flex. The following items are not provided in the common extraction set, but are required for testing. Flex mycotoxin kits. 50 EB17 extraction powder dissolvable pouches. These are only required if testing 50 gram samples for GYPSA certification, or if you are not purchasing an aflatoxin flex kit. Before testing, turn the incubator on and set to 22 degrees Celsius at least 10 minutes before use. Scan the common extraction barcode on the multi-matrix barcode cards. Each Mycotoxin Flex test kit will have a lot-specific card. Allow your common extraction accessory kit and flex mycotoxin test kits to come to room temperature. For the purposes of this video, we are running the common extraction protocol for all three flex assays using a 25 gram sample of ground corn. When testing a 25 gram sample, place 25 grams of ground sample into a suitable hard walled container, such as a disposable five ounce sample cup with a lid. Add one EB17 pouch to the cup. Add 75 milliliters of deionized bottled or distilled water to the container. Immediately seal and tap the container to thoroughly wet the sample. Without interruption, shake vigorously for 10 seconds by hand to ensure that the powdered extraction buffer can fully dissolve. This is a critical step to ensure accurate results. Continue to shake vigorously by hand for two minutes or place the sample cup on a mechanical shaker set to greater than 300 RPM for one minute. Clarify the sample in one of the following ways. Filter the mixture for up to two minutes into a new cup through an approved bun coffee filter or centrifuge for 30 seconds at 2000 times G. Choose the clarification method that most efficiently fits into your workflow. For this video, we will clarify the sample by filtering. To optimize your workflow, we recommend labeling tubes as follows when testing for all three mycotoxins. Label a blue dilution tube with F for fumonisin. Label three clear reaction tubes, F for fumonisin, D for Dawn, and A for aflatoxin. Add the required amount of DB5 buffer for each tube, starting with the blue dilution tube labeled F. Place a clean tip on a large pipette set to one milliliter. Add three pipettefuls of DB5 to the blue dilution tube labeled F for a total of three milliliters of DB5. Place a clean tip on a 100 microliter pipette. Add one pipetteful of DB5 to the clear reaction tube labeled D 
and one pipette full of DB5 to the clear reaction tube labeled A. Next, add the clarified extract. Place a clean tip on a 50 microliter pipette. Transfer one pipette full of clarified extract to the blue dilution tube labeled F. Rinse the pipette tip in the DB5 by drawing up and down. Discard the tip and set the 50 microliter pipette aside. Pick up the large pipette with the tip from the prior buffer step and use this to mix the contents in the blue dilution tube labeled F by drawing the mixture up and down two to three times. Using the 100 microliter pipette with a clean tip, Transfer two pipettefuls from the blue dilution tube labeled F to the clear reaction tube labeled F for a total of 200 microliters. Now that the preparation in the clear reaction tube labeled F is complete, Move to adding clarified extract to the clear reaction tubes labeled D and A. Place a clean tip on the 100 microliter pipette. Swirl the extract cup to mix and transfer one pipette full of the clarified extract to the clear reaction tube labeled D. Draw up and down in the tube to mix. Discard the tip. With a clean pipette tip on the 100 microliter pipette, transfer one pipette full of the clarified extract to the clear reaction tube labeled A. Draw up and down in the tube to mix. Discard the tip. Next, place the clear reaction tubes labeled F, D, and A in the incubator and acclimate for two minutes. The acclimation step is only required if room temperature is outside 20 to 24 degrees Celsius or 68 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. You will need to remove the test strips from their canisters just prior to adding them to the reaction tubes. Immediately reseal the canisters after removing the strips. In quick succession, add a Fumonisin Flex test strip to the F tube, add a Dawn Flex test strip to the D tube, and add an Aflatoxin Flex test strip to the A tube, arrows pointing down. Allow the strips to react for exactly four minutes. At the end of four minutes, immediately cut off and discard the arrow tape section of the strips and insert each strip into the quick scan system for quantification. On the results screen, select the appropriate common extraction matrix group for each mycotoxin test strip. For example, select MG1 for aflatoxin, MG21 for Dawn, and MG4 for fumonisin. Also, ensure that the dilution tab for fumonisin is selected as 1A. If you obtain results outside the base range, further testing may be possible please refer to the common extraction product insert for additional testing options.